The Manchester suicide bomber visited a jailed jihad friend in a British prison just months before he murdered 22 people in a suicide bomb attack. Salman Abedi, 23, visited disabled terrorist Abdal Rauf Abdallah, 24, while he was serving time for terrorism offences last year. Abdal Rauf was an ISIS recruiter who used used Skype and encrypted messaging apps to help terrorists source guns and cash and get from the UK to Syria undetected. His older brother Muhammad, 26, is a suspected ISIS sniper and was today convicted of travelling to fight for the militants in the Middle East. Both were part of a network of ISIS fanatics in South Manchester that included Abedi, who injured 120 others in a horrific suicide bomb attack at the Manchester Arena on May 22. Muhammad Abdallah, who was linked to Manchester Arena bomber Salman Abedi, right, has been convicted of being a member of ISIS. Abdallah's father Agar refused to answer questions when asked about his SOS crimes. As part of his trip to Syria, Muhammad had to get his father Aga, 50, to send him £2,000, which he picked up from a hotel in Istanbul. His father was arrested as part of the investigation but released without charge. He refused to answer questions when asked about his son's crimes by a reporter for Sky News. Abdal Rauf was shot and left paralyzed from the waist down while he and Muhammad fought with Islamist groups battling Colonel Gaddafi's regime in Tripoli, Libya in August 2011. When the Abdallahs fled to the UK later that year Abdal Rauf was given a wheelchair and treated at Central Manchester University Hospital at vast expense to the taxpayer. The paraplegic jihad then acted as an ISIS recruiter, using Skype and encrypted messaging apps to help terrorists source guns and cash and get from the UK to Syria undetected. Muhammad was given £2,000 and a heavy-duty Russian machine gun by his brother's contacts before he crossed the Turkish border into Syria on an unknown date in 2014. Abdallah and Abedi were among a network of extremists from Manchester who fought for ISIS. Many of the group of are from Libyan families and either grew up or have lived in Manchester. The trio who went to Syria kept in contact with Abdallah's Abdal Rauf, who is now in jail. He had been injured fighting in Libya but was flown to the UK for treatment on the NHS. The investigation into Abdullah unearthed this ISIS application form for new recruits. On the form, Abdallah said he was a supermarket vendor but wanted to become a fighter. The supermarket worker returned to the UK in September last year and was arrested by counter-terror cops after being outed as a specialist sniper when an ISIS defector handed secret files to Sky News. Today. He was found guilty of one count of being a member of ISIS, one count of possessing a firearm for terrorist purpose and one count of possessing £2,000 for terrorist purposes following an Old Bailey trial. Like Manchester Arena bomber Abedi, Abdallah was the son of Libyan parents and both grew up in Manchester. Their families are believed to have known each other, with Abedi's father urging friends to pray for Abdallah's brother Abdal Rauf when he was shot in Libya.